Nigerian Senate on Tuesday expressed worries over the proliferation of small and medium enterprises and businesses whose stock in trade is a formulation of beauty products ranging from lotions to oils, scrubs and soap with many labelled handmade or organic. This is the quote to a motion raised by Senator Uluremi Tinubu representing Lagos Central APC, noting that it is impossible to determine if the hygiene, quality assurance and good manufacturing practices are adhered to in the formation of these products. TV3 Cities at Tinuken UK has more. Nigeria is a country with an estimated 200 million people, making the country a huge market for cosmetics and women appearing to be the primary target. The proliferation of the cosmetic products is giving the lawmakers concern, especially since some of these products are used for babies and children. Senator Oluremi Tinubu, representing Lagos Centre, in a motion said most of these manufacturers do not have license to deal with skin issues and do not have the requisite training and certification. In advanced countries, products must pass a toxicology test and be substantiated for safety before they go on sale. Senate is reminded that the skin is the largest organ of the human body with over 20 physiological functions capable of absorbing products applied. Senate is further reminded that the various studies have shown that depending on ingredients, a substantial amount of products applied topically to skin are absorbed into the bloodstream. Note that side effects of these harmful substances may include skin damage, kidney failure, liver failure, breathing problems, poor wound healing, scars and skin cancer amongst others. Other lawmakers agreed with a submission that standards of these products be checked before they are made available to the public. Mr. President, I think this motion is a wake-up call for NAVDA to sit up and do the needful by ensuring they have proper oversight on cosmetic se se sector of the, of the economy. Very many persons did not even know that there was a need to bring the awareness to the users of cosmetics. Any product, both of our cosmetics have what we call hydroquinone. And it is sounded very clear that all cosmetics too must carry the percentage or the content of hydroquinone in them. Any one that is more than 2% has a, 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 a bleaching tendency. NAFDAQ, being the regulator, like everyone has said, needs to sit up and ensure that there is standardization. The biggest problem is that we don't have standards. Everyone can bring in anything they believe in and we will use them. In fact, the business of uh, beautification is now big business in Nigeria. The Senate, however, mandates the Committee of Health to investigate the procedures in place for certification while directing the National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control to maintain database for these products. From the National Assembly in Abuja, Atsinuke Nuke, TV 360 News.